Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shreddy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're jumping back into some Jujutsu Kaisen. So today we're jumping back into Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1, Episode 13. Tomorrow. Let's get it going. Let's do it. Sounds like an old western. And it looks like there was just a fucking shootout. Ah. Oh. Oh. Hungry, hungry hippo June Pine. <laughs> so much to know. <laughs> so much to know. どれくんに奴の術式が効かない。に、いたどりくんを殺せない理由がある。どちらにしろ交通。Right, <laughs> Bro, that is crazy. But the more he extends his body, it, it makes it less thing and maneuverable. No. He is like a little child. Oh man, they'll never run out of energy. Are they trying to kill him though, or? They want help. Oh, bro. Next, I'll be to you.現実と理想の擦り合わせができていないバカなガキはどちらかといえばバカはあなたです。スペアラインド。<笑><笑> oh, they're showering him with blows. <laughs> なんて新鮮ないインスピレーション。え。これが。ファクト。今ならできるよね。What? Oh that is God, sick. that is sick. See, y'all had him on the ropes, man. Y'all had him on the ropes. <laughs> Episode 13, tomorrow. Oh, I'm trying to get in. Oh, fuck. Because he can kill Nanamin. He can't kill you. Oh no! おそらく奴の魂に干渉する術式は原型の手のひらで触れることが発動条件。私は今。これです。無地通り手のひらの上。わあ。術式は<笑> Are we gonna see that back, sir? 
Gas g r o t h The bread that he doesn't, that he likes, is no longer being sold at the convenience store. Remember? That's how you know you're an adult. Ah. Oh, man. That's it, because he's. <laughs> ケリーボーイ、ユウがファーストに考えるべきは会社の利益だ。伸びしろのないクズ株を口八丁で買わせてもですか。オフコース、マーケットとエブリタイムににらめっこしてるアースに対する正当なマニーだ。自分はやりがいとか生きがいなんてものとは無縁の人間。三四十歳までに適当に稼いで、あとは物価の安い国でフラフラと人生を謳歌する。寝ても覚めても金のことだけを考えている。呪いも他人も金さえあれば無縁でいられる。金。Maybe money is your curse. 金。金さえあれば。大丈夫ですかちゃんと寝れてますあなたこそ、疲れが溜まっているように見えますが。わかっちゃいました最近なんか、肩が重いというか、眠りも浅いし。You know 私の仕事は。お金持ちの人からお金を預かって、正直私がいなくても誰も困りません。パン屋がないとパンを食べたい人が困りますよね。でも、なぜかそういう人間のサイクルを外れた私のような仕事の方が。Wow. That is a f u c k i n way to describe that. <laughs> すいません、私にはちょっと難しいかった。<laughs> Just do it, bro. 前へ出てもらえますか肩どうですか。はい。あれ、軽い。失礼します。待って、あの。Next time you come, sound shit on me. ありがとう。ありがとう。また来てくださいね。聞こえてない。ありがとう。生きがいなどというものは無縁の人間だと思っていた。カウン。もしもし。ナナミです。お話がありますね。何を言うてるんですかおはようにうかがい。何を笑ってるんですか、oh, are you laughing? And now here we are. ゆいてんてん。きみに感謝を。The glass is coming off. Oh, shit. それはもう大勢の方にいただきました。Somebody's piercing through! <笑> Break into the wind. Get kind of carano, Taisa, or get away from the outside. So to carano, go get in your work. Not a Japanese new circuito at Taisa. Nazena, she knew she will get the rock all the reflections of that safe. You could share. Jihe and Don Canoni. I tell you, we can eat key let us tend the Kachiga cocktail through to Nareva now, Sara. Itadori could know which you are. Fret or I can I monogar. Oh, he said it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen a second time, bro. Gosh, yeah. I mean, is that all the blood of the humans stored inside of him? Too? Oh my god. He drowned himself. Rian and Sukuna is just another level from these guys, man. These guys are dangerous and these scam at s a y to get out of here. Watch him. Watch him. And look at the punch it took for Yuji to make him bleed a little bit. Yo, know, the man said. マトがでかい。重力の流れもないでいる。確実に攻撃を当てられる。ケ
オンマルが排水口から逃走しました。え、ヒーズンのスワー。今なら君でも払える。私たちも追いましょう。はい。いただいた。動け体。殺すんだろ。いつを。あれが呪いの両面少な。現時点では上下より呪力の総量では劣るはずなの魂の核が違う俺たちが全滅しても少なさい復活すれば呪いの時代が来る俺は今どうしようもなくいたどり勇士を殺したいなおよろんのエモーショナルタイレイドうんそれ
Not until next uh, episode. Exchange event. Looks like it's coming around it's the coming corner. Around. Wow. I saw some dangerous looking people just now. Yep. Bruh. No, I forget that these guys still think um, Itadori is dead, you know? They're That's all sad it. eating the meal and shit. And like, fuck, I can't wait for the reveal. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Because they put his execution on hold, right? And yeah. Until he can get all the vessels. And he didn't even consume the fourth finger yet. So he still only has three in his diet. <laughs> in his <laughs> diet. diet. Like, like three <laughs> in the system. But like, fuck, man. Like, that guy was talking. Like, so what's crazy is that this guy literally saved Kento. This yep. guy literally yep. saved Kento. He bust through the domain. Who knows what a... Who knows? He was ready. He had that. He, he said idol transformation. Like, he was ready. Transfiguration. What was the thing... What was the thing that was... Because um, that's the thing. I don't understand how Yuji's holes got... Like, how did that come across? Because I know that R Rionin can, can cure him. Like, can heal him back. But, like, the holes that he got put in him when he was mad. Like, he... They, those didn't didn't even affect him. No, I don't know if I, if something I'm not Maybe remembering correctly. It's regenerative because even the holes in his hands towards the end when he was breaking through the domain when he was punching, you could see that they were getting smaller and smaller. But those things in his chest were massive. That bro. Yeah, like you could see through those. That hole, that hole when that guy made that uh, almost like the what do you call you call that fish? The, the jellyfish. No, no, no. The when it, when he had all the spikes. Oh, the puffer fish. Yeah, when he did that shit. That was crazy. That was wild. Up in the air. That was crazy. That puffer fish shit was a crazy was transformation. Crazy. And me, I want to see. I want to see what Inokun's powers are. The guy no, who looked kind of like the they homeless. They didn't show us yeah, anything. The, the tube and shit. We just know that he destroyed all them demons that were in this Most likely, that's right. Because and he's supposed to be a great one, so he's he's on par with these guys. Exactly, and he was the first one thing called. His cell phone works in the sewer. <laughs> Oh, is that who he called? Yeah, Inokun. he's like, okay. yo, check the whole southeast, southeast section because he's already down there fighting. He said even you could exercise him right now. So I thought he was talking about the assistant, no, like Inokun. saying that even somebody as weak as you could exercise him right now. Okay, so this guy was there. And what also the backstory mm -hmm. of fucking Kento, like all he thinks about is money, 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 money. He's on the, he's just like. That's the world today. Right? Like he just. He just kept doing the same shit over and over every day, the same sandwich. And the thing is, yeah, he was telling Yuji in, a, in a two episodes ago, he's like, you're not even an adult. He's like, when you see your hair falling out in your pillow and you notice that your favorite convenience store is no longer selling the bread you like, then you'll know you're an adult. So it was crazy that they put the bread situation in the back story. They're like, she's like, oh, you ordered the same thing. She's like, oh, they're not selling at the convenience store convenience anymore. Store anymore yeah. And then he just got literally sick of it one day and he's just like, yo, he chopped that one and then he called Gojo and he's like, yo, I'm coming back, bro. Coming I'm back. I'm coming back. I was like, that was MJ, sick. after he hit a few home runs, he's like, call the bulls up. I'm coming back. So what do you think about the episode? Yeah, I want to see Inokan's powers. Like they, they did that on purpose not to show us the, the battle in the fucking sewer. It was a pretty good meatball recipe though. I mean, it is. It was, it was so, the, so. With the egg whites, <laughs> just twice as much ginger. I love how he's like, yo, double the ginger. Even yeah. though I'm giving you a, a recipe to mount for it, double the ginger. I mean, ginger. how many times we make recipes following the recipe and we're like, okay, let's just double this. Cause it's no, but I'm saying like, you, usually it doesn't say, the, usually it doesn't say it in the recipe to double yeah. it. It just, it just gives you the prerequisite, the required <laughs> amount. Oh, oh my God. So and this, funny. man, UG, man different level the guy we know that he can move he can actually move the the soul he can actually change the shape of the soul now what i'm curious about is can he change the shape of the soul or can rion and change the shape of the soul because the thing is remember when he touched yuji's soul it was connected with rionin's which yes. is why he went he got into his space and was got dusted off yeah. but so i'm wondering because they said that in the last thing that his superhuman strength hits and then his cursed energy hits. So I'm wondering if the if if there's another layer to that where it's his superhuman strength, his soul, and his cursed energy oh which hits. God. Because this guy got hit and he's like, yo, how am I bleeding like this? And then when he punched him in the stomach, he was gushing up. So man, and the thing is that's that's what I, I what I love about it is the undefined power. So every time Yuji comes across a situation that needs more of him, there's more of him available, you know? And I also another thing I love about the show is how like whenever like you're about to find out like whenever you're about to for example 
you're about to see a firefighter go into a, a, a fight and then the first thing they do is they jump to the day of training which was most pertinent to that to fire that he's going to fight today exactly. so it's like you know like the six finger technique well da -da 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 -da. and then he comes across he's like oh the six finger technique and da -da -da. i love how they said it they set you up so well for what's about to come you know what i'm saying and we got to set the table for the next meal so Thank you all for joining us today for this episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought of the episode down in the comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon to check out our full-length uncut reaction or just support our channel. I'm Judy. And I'm Drake for Beauty and the Beard. We're signing off for the next one. Peace.